Good morning everybody. I got another ice block and this morning I've got Joy. Now jo Joy is actually the Joy kit by Samantha Gregory who is an Aussie and she was created by Gay Smith. I got Joy from the Adelaide Reborn Doll Show. I will put her down for a minute while I have a look at this. And in saying that, yes, I'm in my winter nighty. It's a bit nippy today inside. My place gets cold. Um, I was thinking of doing it in my bedroom. But I've got the right glasses on here. But I thought I'll do it. What have we got here? I don't seem centered. I oh, know I couldn't didn't, didn't put perfume on, so I'm not centered. <laughs> I decided doing here save taking everything out and it's handier. So what I've got here is a splice. It's a water ice block. I think it's got a little bit of milky, I don't know. It's created by streets. I got a pack of eight and these are yummy. This is a pine pine lime. I think it got a bit of ice cream in the centre. They are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, bugger. Bugger, bugger. Okay, as you know, it's Saturday and it's the 14th of October. And today in Australia, it is Referendum Day. Whoopee! I've already done mine. I did it by postal vote because I was travelling today. <laughs> Yes, I travelled from my bedroom to the kitchen, to the toilet, to the lounge room, back to, back and forth. So I was travelling, wasn't I? I prefer, to, I prefer postal voting because it saves me having to go out when I don't really want to. As I said, this is a splice. And of course it's said that it's weigh-in day. And guys and girls, oh my God, I was shocked. I was really shocked when I got in the scales. I had to actually have a second look. Mm. Okay. Mm. Really nice. These have about, I think about 72 calories. Of course, the, out, the outside, it's just water ice block on the outside. I think it might be ice cream on the inside. I don't know. Mm. But they are yummy. Now, the shock. Why was they so shocked when I looked at the scales this morning? The reason was I lost. I lost what I put on. I lost 300 grams, which is what I put on last week. Um, I've lost 10.3 kilos and the reason why I was shocked because I have been really emotional the last few days. I have been um, worried. Um, the reason is I had to go see a job network. Job network place is to help find jobs. Guys, I'm 66 years old. Um, I have depression, anxiety, um, borderline personality disorder. My counsellor said they've also got PTSD and they still want me to find a job. I've tried to get the disability pension so I wouldn't have to work, look for work, but I was rejected and I feel I was, instead of going into the mainstream job network place, they seem to a disability, I thought, okay, maybe this will be different in what they do, but people, for me, 
This disability job network place is a joke. An absolutely joke. What they're doing for me, I've got to do exactly what I would have done if I'd stayed with the other one. And I did not realise that. I was with them for an hour on Tuesday. And of course I had to agree for all this, otherwise I'll lose my part payment or I don't know what would happen if I didn't agree to it. Um, I really actually haven't worked for... The last job I had was in, when I finished taxi driving in 2014. What's that? That's nine years. It's nine years since I finished taxi driving. Sugar, that's a long time. Nine years. Um, and I'm not up to going back to taxi driving because of my depression and anxiety and all that. It's not that type of work I want to get really into. I don't want to. I don't want to work. I can't work. I feel like um, just getting back into it. Another year, I'll be on the age pension, which is crazy. They need something between um, job seeker and the pension age where there are people who are at that stage where they're pension ready but are unable to work. Um, I don't know, I haven't done any, any other qualification. I've worked in aged care but all my qualifications are all gone because I did my Cert 3 in nursing back in about 1999, I think it was. So that is 20 years since I've done my Cert 3. I haven't worked in aged care in 20 years. Um, I've done volunteer, but then volunteer work is, um, I don't know. I've just been doing what I've been doing, looking after myself, doing what I have to do. I see my doctor every three months. I see my counsellor every two to three weeks. Um, and I have been doing really good. I didn't know my weight loss, but I thought this week I would actually put on. I was expecting that scale to go up because I have been... I did my sh got my shopping Tuesday, arrived ch the Wednesday. I got a box of eight of these. This is my last one. Yes, I never eat during, after I go to bed, if I get up during the night, I don't eat. I usually just might grab a ginger nut biscuit. But Thursday night, yes, night, I was up. On the hammy toms, and every time I got up, I got something to eat. I would have got one of these, I got ginger nut biscuits, and I getting to sleep has been hard too because it is hard. Um, my mental health was doing really good until a couple weeks ago when. I had to go, had to go to Tursa and all this crap stuff about. And it is so hard, you know. I just want to be left alone to take care of myself. Because I've only ever had to take care of myself. When I was in my couple of relationships, I was the one who took care of myself. Um, and it's the way it has always been, you know. I only worry about myself, I own Archie, but it's just a pain. I don't know. These are nice. Did I tell you that? Absolutely nice. I think I told you what we're doing today, Australia. It's a referendum for the voice, which is to give the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders a voice in what goes on in their, I don't know, what, I watched a debate on 
YouTube a few weeks back about it. And when the debate was over, I still had no insight as to what was going on. It didn't say why we should have the voice. And the other person said, didn't, said, did not say why we shouldn't have the voice. There are Aboriginals out there who don't want it. And there are Aboriginals out there who do want it. So it's a mixture as what, well, today is the day. And I told my council about the debate to watch, and that is why I'm, I voted no, because I have no idea what is going on. Do you know, it started about 12 months ago, I think it was, about this voice thing coming up. It was in, it was like it was under, under, under the radar about what they were doing. I didn't know, I don't watch any news anywhere or sometimes when i'm on youtube i if there's something that looked int interesting i thought okay maybe i'll see what's going on but i had never seen anything about the voice i heard about this voice thing when early this year when i do my um what do you call it um sorry <laughs> my brain do my surveys and that. And they come up this thing about the voice. I thought, what is the voice? What what are they talking about? I had no idea. So I just answered the question how I wanted to. I had no idea what it was. And the government had put millions of dollars into this thing for the voice without any not educating people about about it it's starting to melt mm. these are so nice so it seems that there are signs in australia you know the road signs with the speed limits people have actually change the signs I think it's 110 kilometers per hour and they changed the the two ones and made it an N so it's no you hear a lot of people are voting no because that I think they don't know, understand what's going on they don't know what the government's going to do they don't know what I don't know. Maybe I should listen to the news more. But not listen to the news is the way I look after myself. The news is no good news on the news. As I said earlier, I when I go onto YouTube on my TV, I actually um, just hand it clean. If there's anything new that's there, I'll have a look and see what, what it is. And sometimes, if there's something there about the voice, I will listen, watch it. But it still doesn't tell you anything. Excuse me. Oh, oh she's one heavy baby. She is one heavy, heavy baby. She is. Put it down a bit. She has got such a cute face on her. She's got... Oh, excuse me. Look at that cute face. Hey? Is it a cute face? Oh, excuse me. Um, the voice. I don't know. I'll let you know what happens. We'll know the next day maybe as to what is happening with the voice if it comes through and it's really i don't know it's just election any dual voting election is way out of my league i don't understand it i don't want to understand it it's not my cup of tea i'd rather be in the dark about that than 
know all about it. I've been more probably more confused than what I am now. <laughs> this is Joy. As I said, I went to Adelaide. I'm trying to think when it was. Was maybe some reason 2018 rings a bell. It might have been 2018. Could be. Not quite sure, but for some reason. I know it was October and I went over there and the doll show went for a couple of days i went over to over there i went over for two weeks hired a car and i did enjoy my trip over there um i went to the show and um i took two of my smaller babies i took bridget and bead with me also also took alice little alice went with me and i went to show looked around and um when I sing this one, she's she's a nice cuddle. She's not a cuddle babe. She's a reborn, but she's just nice to cuddle. And when I heard the kit name, I thought I gotta have her. As I said, the kit name is Joy. My mum's second name was Joyce, and the kit. So that's why I kept the name of Joyce and Joy, and that's the reason why I felt I had to have this reborn. And I did, I got another one I got from Adelaide. I got some more here. Actually, being in the room is a lot easier because um, I see things I need to do. <laughs> I've got my two suitcases I'm taking when I go on a holiday. I'm getting closer. I'll let you know when I get there. Um, I've got them there. They're airing. So it's really funny. Um... They're giving me a good, giving me, I'm actually, I think, okay, I must be due for an inspection because I rent and they do an inspection, I don't know, maybe every six months, I think. And I've got one coming up soon and it's the day before I leave. And I was thinking, okay, inspection's coming, maybe they'll make it on the day that I leave or that they don't know I'm going away. So, if if it was a day I was going away, I would actually let them know and I'll say, can you do mine before this time because I'm leaving this day, blah, blah, blah. But it's going to be the day before, which means I'll have to get dressed. But the, I'm not going out for the day because the Wednesday I will be... I'll probably already started packing by then. And um, I'll have things aside, what I'm taking, um, and it works out good because I was actually tending of intending to actually do a really good clean up before I go, make things every tidy and that. And so now I'll have a reason because I'm having an inspection. The place is not dirty. It may be a bit messy, but that's about it. Um, so there's one thing I know I've been meaning to tackle for a while, and that is my kitchen drawers. Now you have your cutlery and other stuff. I thought yesterday, I thought, okay, I've got to do this. So I went in, took everything out of my cutlery drawer. I mean, I put my cutlery drawer has got thing everything in there. <laughs> it's it's a really big drawer, and when I moved in, there was nothing to put my cutlery in. So I just chucked them in there until I I looked on Big W's site. Big W had one, and when I went in to get one, they didn't have it. So I had to wait for it to come in. There was one for about three times more. I thought, no, nah, this one is perfect. It's cheap. It's all I need. So I had to wait. And I brought this rubber stuff where you put it there and nothing slides. And that was really good. So yesterday I had a piece there which I just had under the cutlery drawer thing. What I did yesterday, I actually put it all over the top of the two top drawers so that nothing will move. Um, there's stuff I threw out. And even though it's not something I see all the time, no drawers, they're always closed when we walk past. But in my mind, I see how I've cleaned it. 
and how tidy it looks and it seems like my mind's tidy because I've just done that little piece Do you know what I'm talking about even though it's not you're not seeing it you know it's tidy and I didn't realize I thought I actually had more but it's crazy I haven't tackled the bottom one the bottom drawer is where I keep all my shopping bags for shopping they're in the bottom drawer I'll tidy that up oh oh so I took every other drawer got I got these um cleaning wipes so I wiped them out with that then I used paper towel to wipe them again and it looks really nice and clean so that's that um that the benches I'm like I hate these benches because they um they're getting all the marks and they're getting dull and I don't know what they used to make it look clean again there was some marks and I don't know what the marks were but when the bench was wet you couldn't see them so I brought some gumption which is amazing cleanup for just about anything and I tried it on this spot one spot and it did clean it a bit but another spot oh, I don't know I thought maybe contact a cleaner and see if they can come in and just you know let me know what's the best thing to actually clean the bench because it's um it just don't look nice I know it I know it's my place to keep it all clean but the marks just come naturally I don't know I don't know what to do I'm not quite sure the benches are made of um I just don't just I don't know I don't know I don't know people go when they do um when they think about when they're doing renovations they don't think about the cleaning of it how is it going to be clean will it with all the um working around it and usage on the bench whatever will it leave marks how you got to clean it when if you're renting it out will the, the tenants would they know how to clean it so it do it but this is just it you know you see on these renovation shows especially at the moment we've got one going called the block it has been going for 19 years they're on the onto the 19th season and what these do in the kitchen in the bathroom and everywhere do they think about how well it comes to cleaning because that is the problem so I'm thinking of going on to Facebook and just asking for some information if a cleaner who actually does clean for a living can come around and actually explain to me how to keep this bench because I look at it and I hate the look of it I know I have googled and they said fill a spray container half vinegar and half water spray the bench and just leave it for a while then come and wipe it but I don't know if I do that will make things it's just hard to fathom what to use so I have no idea um I don't like cleaning um and it's amazing because I've got tiles in the kitchen the kitchen area because the kitchen is just the other side here the kitchen is the kitchen in there and it's all tiles and I know when I sweep it it you can tell when I've swept it because it just seems cleaner and then when I clean the floor I use um these I don't know what you call them I've got this sweeper thing where you can attach things pads and that to it to clean it and that's what I use and it's so easy to clean and when I I hadn't cleaned it for a while and when I cleaned it last week I thought oh my goodness it was absolutely dirty so I did it again yesterday and I have to use two pads on the thing when I do the kitchen then I've got the bathroom which is pretty good you know um Everything's going good. 
I know when I woke this morning, I thought, am I up to doing a video? I know I was still shocked after I got on that scales. I actually thought, but then I looked over my, I went back in my diary on my, my fitness pal app and I thought I was over every, I know there was, I think there was one day I didn't put, didn't log everything because I was too scared as to what I was, would have eaten. And, um, but I was, I went on the scales, I thought, okay, so I got off, I went a while, on again, still the same. My God, I am 125.2 kilos. Um, I can't remember what that is in pounds and all that, but I have lost 10.3 kilos, which is 20, 20, 20, 21 pounds, which is a lot. And I can feel it because my, my skirts are longer. <laughs> yeah, they're longer. And there's one thing I noticed a few weeks back. Um... I developed this red, not a rash, but redness under my breast. And I haven't had that in a long time. And I don't know why I got it. Um, maybe I had I had this cure rash that I was using when I was really sweaty. I put that on. But it wasn't doing anything. So I actually Googled. I said, red, red redness on the breast and it came up with um said apple cider vinegar okay and it said um what is it witch hazel oh great i said i've got witch hazel i can use that and also nappy rash cream I thought, oh it's amazing so what i did I didn't want to go to the shops just because, just to get this one jar on that. Oh, I could have went to Alvi, but I didn't want to go out. So when I did my shop, I did, I did a Google for the best, thank you, for the best nappy rash, for good nappy rash cream and what it should um, in, include and all of this. So I, I did a Google, looked around, and I found one that has um, something about zinc in it. It starts with an S, and I only got a small tube. It's not a it's container, you know. I thought, ah. Oh. So until I got that, my shopping, I actually was using witch hazel on this redness, and that really took away the um, the soreness that was there, you know. With the pure ash wasn't doing anything, so the witch hazel really helped. Um, then once I got this nappy rash cream that has really helped i put it on every night i a little bit of redness there and comes back but it doesn't worry me because it's under control it's not as bad as it used it was um i think maybe because i'm in flannel at 90s maybe as i said i've never had it before and i don't know why i thought maybe because but losing weight so i don't know what it is it's really weird really weird but it's under control nap if you ever get redness under your breast nappy rash cream and oh it's s i think it's sub or something hang on i'll go and get it and show you back hello back i went and got the cream It's pseudo cream. Pseudo S U D O C R E M E. Zinc oxide. Because when I did a Google, that's what it said contains. And it contains 15.2.5% of that. What's WW? Soothes and protects. This is good. So if you have nappy, nappy, if you, yeah, if you've got nappy rash, if you've got redness on your breast, um, 
And that's 125 grams. I only got the small one because it didn't. Expiry date 20, 2025. For external use only. Keep out of reach of children. Keep out of the eyes. Made in Ireland. Wow. Thank you, Ireland. So, if you. Excellent. As I said, if you get any kind of redness, un, itchiness, or that under the breast, have a go with this. It, it has, I tell you, the rash, I, I use it every night. It has really helped so much. Next time I get it, I might get a bigger jar. I never use nephew rash cream for this. That's all it is. I put some on with my finger and I just put it over the rash where it is. And yeah, works a treat. I don't know how long that's going to last. That cost me, I think, $12. But it does a job. And the other, when I did my, sh I didn't, when I did my shop the other, other day, what do I got here? Yeah. They had done special, but I, when, I got it when I needed it, and I needed it. Working, working really good pseudo cream. Do some a favour if you need it, get it. Um, what else is happening? Um, I'm looking at the wardrobe over there, and I really got to clean that out. You know now you. Yeah. Even when, when you move, you, you clean stuff out, you throw stuff away. But when you get settled, you get all this stuff back. <laughs> and it, it's just like um, containers, bags, things that you realise that bits and pieces. I know, in I threw out, yes, I threw out stuff um, that I went through and actually found my... I didn't know where I thought, my God, I've lost this, but I found it is my high school report card. Yes, I've still got my high school report card. So on the anniversary, 50 years this year since I left school, so on the 50th anniversary of my last day at school, I will... Get, bring out my report card and I will read you my report card from 50 years ago. Does anybody else have a report? I've only got one report card. What are we, September, October, November? September, October, November. Couple of months. Couple of months, it'll be 50 years. So I'll, on that, whatever day that falls on, hopefully I'm not doing anything that day, I will do a video. That will be my weekly chat on the day 50 years since I left school. My God. 50 years. That is a long time. You know, think about it. Fifty years. Yes, I was 16 when I when I left school. Um, so back then when I was school, the school I went to was Mount St. Patrick's High School in Mawollomba. Mount St. Patrick's Regional High School, which has now changed. I think it's called Mount St. Patrick's College. Um, I only went for fourth year. It was here for it was fourth year, now it's year ten because they didn't go any higher. As as high as they went. Um if it, I didn't want to go on further, I'd had enough of school and learning and books and that. I didn't want to go to a public school. I'd had enough, you know. I didn't want to go any further. Um and but now the school actually um goes to year 12. I think in one of my videos when I was up there I actually 
did a video around there so I might do that again when I go up um, I think I remember I drove up the hill when I got up the hill opposite was the convent the convent was where the nuns lived but now I've been told the con where that is now is actually just the offices for the school um, and I, so that means is there any nuns at the high school anymore oh excuse me excuse me for being too early it wasn't me it was my food oh yeah. Ooh. so what else is going on um don't you hate it when your computer does an upgrade and it does something which you don't like it didn't do anything that overly but it actually put it seems like it installed microsoft edge i don't like microsoft edge i use opera opera yeah it's opera yeah um and i used to use chrome google chrome but where i do my surveys and on i also play games and the games were um very slow in moving the especially the cards they were, they weren't having they weren't playing correctly so i contacted support on the on the site and they said maybe change your browser so that's when i changed over to opera 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 whatever it is and was even bet so that works out. that's what i use all the time now but neighbors has started up again and i tell you it is really weird i'm watching it but it's weird neighbors is a show in a, was on australian tvs and the uk but was cancelled the reason it was cancelled because of channel five in the uk <laughs> they cancelled it so that means the whole thing was cancelled this was last year and that was it no more neighbors but it was a good show everything but now that it's back um i watch it on 10 i don't watch it on the tv because my tv is carpet but i still use it to, to stream things from it that it's okay for that but not for normal tv so i watch it on 10 play and when i watch it when i watch it i can't use it through oprah because the oprah opera because the sound is all funny so i actually go back in the in the google in the chrome and watch it through there and it is so it's really weird because it's like it's repeating the two episodes two first two episodes like i watched it yesterday so i watched monday tuesday wednesday thursday it's only four so mondays and tuesdays seem exactly the same it's like i was watching the same episode again so i don't know what is happening with it and how they've replaced some of the actress actress actors they've actually put two two together which just seems so 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 over it like when we watched it last year two characters Cody and Melanie were married and they're going good now when it's restarted again it's supposed to be two years later so in that two years um Cody and Mel broke off Mel no, Mel chucked her on him because she couldn't handle being a stepkid to um couldn't handle being a stepkid she loved the kid but did not want to be a stepmom so she took off and straight away Cody it seems like Cody got involved with this other female character Therese Therese and they got married and it's just Cody and Therese Therese together just does not seem 
right. Maybe you'll all wake up and it'll be all a dream, bit bit like Bobby on Dallas. It just, I, I can't get into it. It is really weird. I keep watching it to see if it will get better. But it's like, oh, any Aussies watching? Are you watching Neighbours? Neighbours was a show I really loved watching. It's only that the one show I loved watching on TV. Right. There. So you can see, madam. But now it's like, it's, it's, I heard somewhere that because when Neighbours was axed in the first place, the writers of the show got jobs elsewhere. And it's just, they reckon it's because they actually had it on the same time as Bold. They took Bold and Beautiful off at 4.30 and put Neighbours on at 4.30. I think Bold and the Beautiful was on at 4 o'clock. I haven't watched Bold. I was I used to be a big Bold and Beautiful fan. I loved Bold and Beautiful, but I haven't watched that in years. I know. I think maybe you should go and have a watch on it. Mm. See what is going on. But neighbours, it's really got me confused. Just I think everybody else is confused. They're confused as to why they put Toadie and Teresa together, because um, the first episode. Of this new new when it come on was about a marriage you know people getting couple getting married and of course I thought it was Therese and Paul but when you seen Toadie at the end it was just crazy absolutely crazy Okay, because also in those two years, one of the um, other characters has left school, is now a lawyer. It took her two years to do that. <laughs> and the one thing about this character, she was a transgender, right? And so it's like she actually had her boobs done and everything. She must have had all the whole, separate, whole operation because she, I know it's only a character, but they had a female playing a transgender. Maybe they should have got a tran a real transgender to play it. I have no idea. But it's like she must have all the operation because she got married and it's really weird. I question that because she must have had a boob job and everything. But it's weird. Uh, I watched that shit Fridays. Fridays, I binge watch Neighbours. Mondays, I binge watch The Block. Um, what else is, um, there was something else. Can't remember, can't remember. Well, Garth is over here. Um, Oh, yeah, about with, um, this, this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's crazy. I did my shop on Tuesday. Tuesday morning, I was awake at half past seven, eight o'clock. I thought, oh. Tuesday was payday. So, hang on, this doesn't look right. Yeah. So, I thought I was awake early. I didn't have to be at my first appointment till 11 I thought okay I got up went on paid the bills I usually pay did my shopping at Coles and got delivered the next day and soon as I do that especially when it comes to Wednesday because the specials start Wednesday I start looking at what I need for the next week and at the moment um sometimes I'll shop this is Again, doing with get some flyby points. I'll stock up on things. Um, like I stocked up on paper towels were on special last week, so I got a couple a lot of those. Is one thing I can't get at the moment is beetroot. I cannot get golden circle beetroot. No one has got sliced beetroot. I have no idea why. Maybe it's not the time for beetroot. But other brands have. You can get you can get 
the beets itself, baby beet and diced beetroot, but the beetroot slices, not available in the golden circle, which is a pain. I like, I like my beetroot on a sandwich, but at least it's counting down the calories. <laughs> I know the other week um, I got some Devon, sliced Devon, when I did my order, I got it from the deli. And when I got it, I thought, oh, my goodness. It was thick as can be. I mean, it, they had cut it so thick. Oh, my goodness. So I decided when I have just to have, when I have this, this, because usually I buy it in a pack where it's already sliced, it's thinly sliced, it's a good slicing. I have with cheese if I've got beetroot, whatever. But with this, what I do when I have this, I actually have just Devon and barbecue sauce. Perfect. But because it's so thick, there's more calories in it. Hmm. I think I'm using the right calories for the right brand. I don't know. I'll have to. I'm not quite sure what brand it is. I'll have to go and have a look. <laughs> I didn't think to check it. Um, but I will have a look and check. I think it might be the right one. I have no idea. Um, but it's amazing on my fitness pal. You have to check when you're trying something new and you you're trying to add it to your um thing. You have to check the calories. Well, there's one thing I don't know what I was putting into it. Um, I can't remember what it was, but. I'm trying to think what it was. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But they didn't have enough calories. They had the calories, whoever put it in on the site, put the wrong amount of calories. I'm thinking what... I'm trying to think what it was. I know it was a cup of cup. It wasn't cordial. It was something else. Can't remember what it was. It was some milk. Can't remember what it was. It doesn't matter. But they had, they didn't have an, enough calories for it. So whoever put it in there, they're going to be over calories because they're not putting the right amount of calories. How I check, I go on to, I go, I go on to either Woolly site or Coal site. And I look for the product on there, and that will give you the um, the calories or the cooler jewels of the item. I usually try the app first for Woolies or Coles. Sometimes it doesn't actually have 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 the nutrition advice on it, so I usually do that. But that is how I find. I oh, know the calories. Remember the cool jewels were 660 cool jewels. I'm and if you divide that by 4.2, that gives you the calories. I'm trying to think. I'm, I can remember it was 660 cool jewels. I'm just trying to see if I can see it. I can't. Come on. I've got people love me and they're walking. It'd be so hot up there really hot be nice in in the winter when we're so cold but in the summer it would be so hot it's hot down here i mean i feel the heat it's a different heat to coughs it's not a sweaty heat but it would look like we're going to have a hot summer we're in that we're into our halfway through our second well halfway through spring tell me that is it spring september can remember yeah summer starts in december um what else we got how about we change over and we get garfi good idea yeah come on we'll put you in the pram you don't want to lay on that that'd be a bit hard wouldn't it wouldn't it be hard you don't need that you don't get nappy rash yeah. All eight boys.
Garthy. <laughs> Garthy. I actually found his um, COA the other day, which is, I think it was his, out in the drawer. He is number 21 of, I think, was it five, 250 or 500? I don't know. As you know, he is a mittens kit by Jade Warner. He was created by Tuna Treasures from Queensland here in Australia. And I've had him, I, he was a, he was custom made. I had to pay a $50 deposit. And which was good. So he, then I picked, he won the ginger boy and I picked his eyes and everything and he is if you look above the banner on my channel my home home page you will see him up there with um my other two reborns is the cecilia kit and the agnes kit hint hint <laughs> um yes I really need to actually tidy up the baby's wardrobe, go through it, clean it out, maybe wipe the shelves, look through and there's things that I haven't, like I've been here since January last year and I'm sure there's things that I've purchased somewhere I may have used once or twice um, and I might just throw it out. Not the baby stuff. I have got... I think that's all the baby stuff I've got there. I know when I first got the reborns, when I went on my holidays, I would zoom to the baby section. And I was a person who would say, babies don't need, young baby, baby newborn babies do not need, I know these are not real babies, okay? I know that. We all know that. But, Babies do not need a lot of clothing because they grow so fast. Although these don't, they say the same. But still, they don't need a lot of clothing. And what do I, every time I was on holidays, when I, I would zoom to the baby wear, look for specials. I know the other day, I'm going to do it just before Christmas. It will be 10 years since I got my first reborn doll. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change her into the very first outfit which I purchased. I think it was, I can't remember if I got it, brought it before I received it or after. I can't remember. But I'll also show you the outfits that came with her. Um, and that would be just before Christmas. I don't feel that I will be doing, um, oh, I may. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I have to see what happens with this job network place. If I would do, um, because it's getting close to Christmas to when, remember, I did um, the um, advent calendars. Um, I don't know. Because it's, it's something I do, it's something that's done. I've, know, I've done it twice in a row. I know the year before last I started it, but I didn't finish. Um, and... I just don't, sometimes I feel like I will do it and when I'm having a bad day, but then again, it's not like, I was even doing it when I was volunteering. Um, maybe I might start it again. Maybe I might. It's a might. <laughs> I don't know. 
I know it doesn't take long to actually do the little video in opening the advent calendars and it's finding one that I will like, that I will enjoy doing. I know I've done the chocolate ones every year, of course. I've actually done um, the Marvel ones, now like Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, all this one kind of thing. Um, I also did Peppa Pig one year. Um, I had never seen Peppa Pig movie before that. I actually went after I did that. I actually looked at Peppa Pig. I think it was on YouTube. YouTube is such an amazing thing. You know, YouTube, it's whatever you want, anything you want to look, just put into Google, into YouTube search and you will find it. Have you ever searched for you yourself in Google? Like I should have brought my tablet. Or even on YouTube, on um Facebook. You see if there's someone else out there with the same name as you. And there is someone out there with the same name as me. I can't remember where. Um, how about I put you down so I can have a drink. How about you sit there with my with Joy. Joy, Joy, Joy. This is my water bottle. 750 mils. Um, I just finished watch finished watching all the seasons of Private Practice. It was good. Um, I love medical shows. Um, like I, I watched watched all the ER. What's all of that? I just finished watching Country Practice. I also like the cop shows and the fire sh fire fire shows. I love all those. Um, with there's one show I like SVU. Um, I think I've only seen watched the first five seasons, which Seven Plus have only had the first five seasons, and it's been going for. I think it's up to 23 seasons at the moment. Um, and that has been good watching how it all started and continue on down. Um, I think I had a late night last night. I know last night I was in bed. I was a bit hungry. What day for tea last night? For tea last night, I had um, little quiches. You can get these tiny little quiches. And they're usually for parties. But I haven't had a meal. And they're small, so I have six. Six is just enough for a meal. That's what I, I have. Six of those, and I had some some of my mineral, sparkling mineral water that I had. And later, what did I have, what did I have after that? I didn't have anything, but later on, I was laying in bed, I was hungry, but then I realised I was over with just what I had yesterday and everything else, and I thought, okay, if I'm going to really blow, if it's blowing out now, why, what the hell, I'll have it. So I had three mint slices, <laughs> and... I was over and that's why I was shocked that I lost this week which I could not believe so I've actually two weeks ago is what I weigh same as what I weigh now everything is the same I know sometimes on um I I used also look at my BMI I don't know why because I'm not going by my BMI because if I went by my BMI to what way I should be, no way, Jose, would I get down there. No way at all. Because I would need to get down to about 70 kilos. No way, Jose. I've lost 10, 
6.3 kilos. See how I go when well, I've lost the next 10 kilos. I haven't got actually a goal weight. I've got a number in mind, but it's when I get to where I feel comfortable in myself. Um, I do feel a bit comfortable. I know um, I, that my knees are not as sore. Um, and I know that when I walk down this, I can see a complete difference. Just even walking down my stairs, it's complete different. I have got great stairs. They're solid brick, not brick, cement, concrete. And they're a good step. They're not these little squinty things. They're a good size step, so which is great. They are a better step than the one to the back unit. Oh, the back unit. Oh, my God. I think it's a back unit. I have no idea, but I tell you, it is a pain. Um, and great step. I know that I feel different. Um. I know I look different in my summer nighty. <laughs> I can see the difference. I didn't. I didn't take a photo, which I should have, but I can feel it. Uh, just ten kilo at twenty pound, twenty pound. I should get something that weighs twenty pound and show that how much. I have lost and it is well I might when I get to uh, I don't have things that I could make look 20 pounds I've lost a baby <laughs> 10 kilos no no baby they're about six kilos seven kilos I've lost three of those Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Um, oh, yeah, about this thing about um, this job nurture and going where it's. I, on Wednesday morning, Wednesday, I sent Michelle a text. I told her for me that this place is a complete joke. I said, I've got to apply for eight jobs a month. Eight. Where am I going to find eight jobs? And if I know, knowing if I did just go into interview it would be hard, then having to go, get up and get dressed and go to work would be hard. But then only what employer is going to employ someone for less than 12 months? If I ever want someone who's going to be probably there long term. As I said, I'm 66 years old. I've got to wait nine months. No, let me see. 11 months and I'll be on the pension. I can start applying for the pension, the transition from job search over to the age pension in June, which we'll be doing. And um, But it seems it's just when I said to told Michelle how it's a joke I've got to do this it's comp and if I don't do this my payment could be on pause it's so wrong when you're not able to work yet you're not bad enough to get the disability pension and if they threaten to actually suspend or cut back my doll, how much would they cut back? Um, anyway, I sent, when I sent Michelle a letter, she text, she said she wrote back that she's going to write, she wanted to know who I spoke to at this place, and she's going to write a letter. And um, the person who I see there, she used to work at Bunnings. Bunnings in Australia is this huge hardware place. Huge. And she used to work there. 
I wonder, I've been wondering if they have, do they have training in mental health? In how, what the different kind of mental health issues there are? And how it can affect people? The one thing I really hate is when you tell someone that you have anxiety, they say, oh yeah, I have anxiety too, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, my mum's got it, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I feel everybody with anxiety, I feel with, everybody suffers different. There's a reason for their anxiety, something that actually causes it to come out. I know when my anxiety started. I know when it started. I know how I was feeling back then. It started back in 1996, and I actually thought what was going on was stress. It wasn't until I was attacked by a person at a job network that I went to my doctor and she said, you've got anxiety. And what I was feeling all the years ago was nerves and coming to anxiety. And she was a good doctor and she said she, she gave me a certificate. She said she was going to fix it there. Well, I don't have to do with Centrelink or anyone. And... As everyone has anxiety, everyone probably feels the same things, but some things someone might have a little bit you don't know. And to sell to to fob it off, oh, yeah, I have anxiety too. It's just um, hard. I don't take medication because when I'm home, I'm okay. Um, although it was affecting my sleep. It has been affecting a while, but I didn't realise it was um, my anxiety and my depression that was causing it. It was only after I had that fall last year that it got bad, where um, it was affecting my sleep. If I was going out the next day, getting to sleep the night before was very hard. I couldn't sleep. Sometime before or 3 o'clock in the morning before, I actually fall off to sleep. Um, if I knew a parcel was coming, the same thing, getting to sleep was so hard. Even my shopping getting was coming delivered the, that day. The same thing would happen. Um, and it's, even though I wasn't going anywhere, it was them come, maybe, it, I've been really good. Um. Except with this and the threat that might pet my doll. And it's just so hard. I know, Michelle told me not to worry about that. She's going to do something. And she knows that I'm not able to work. I have got no qualifications. I do not know what job I would want. I told a girl, I don't know what job I want. I don't know what job I could do. I don't want to. I just want to be in peace and look after myself here. That's all I want. But I've got to wait another nine months, 10, 11 months before that can happen. You know? Last week, a week ago, I didn't know it was so big. There was a $60 million Powerball lotto. I didn't know. I might have put, might have put, would have put an entry in, but I didn't know, you know. Um, and one, one person won $60 million. One person. Wow, that would, a million would do me good because, and I can tell Sandlink where to go. I can go and tell them where to go. Um, I wouldn't buy a house. I would still rent because buying a house, you still got to do upkeep and everything on it. But a million dollars, I would move. I would actually um, 
easy and do to move will sell my big stuff I would um, hire a van or something to move bits and pieces of my own stuff and I would find a place. I wouldn't move until I found a place. I would move somewhere close to the beach. Um, no further south I would go. Um, Coffs Harbour. I would look around and see where rentals are. Um, but that would give me some peace. But winning a million dollars is like finding love it probably will never happen and there's something was it it was wednesday and i was moving archie from the lounge room out to the front and of course he asks what you doing Like he always does. And I said, I've been thinking of a way how I could try and kill myself so I know it would be successful. Then I wouldn't have to deal with all this. That is what it's coming to, you know? Um, I did took, take some pills oh, over 10 years ago. Um, it, and could, to, I would have to know that it would be successful so that I wouldn't end up surviving and having other problems. Um, in saying that, I'm scared there would be something that would push me to it, even though I've wouldn't know what to do that will push me to do something and will not be successful and I would be left with the consequences of damage whatever that is what I'm scared of being pushed too far and doing that and that will happen um this is the first time I've actually spoke out this um why do I want to die Why not? You know, I've got nothing to look forward to. I don't see me finding love. So why? Um, I went and checked them out this morning because I wanted to see what the, I know it's Saturday, but I hadn't checked them out yesterday. I wanted to just I wanted to check them out, go outside and see it was like outside it is nice nice and warm outside but i got a letter and it was about bowel, bowel cancer going screaming what did i do i ripped it up and put it in the bin i should be having colonoscopies because mum's both of mum's parents died from bowel cancer mum had bowel cancer but she didn't die from bowel cancer um i'm supposed to have pap smears because i had cancer pre-cancer cells in my cervix created by hpv um i've stopped doing those i'm also supposed to have mammogram every year because there was breast cancer in the family, but there's only breast cancer in the family because there's also bowel cancer. Bowel cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer are all connected. If someone in your family has bowel cancer, like my grandparents, that's how my sister got the breast cancer. And that, even if, there's no breast cancer but bowel cancer or if there's no bowel cancer but breast cancer it's a chance that you could get bowel cancer and so that's probably where mum got her bowel cancer from was from her her parents it is a, it, it's all connection those three bowel ovarian 
and breast. They're all connected. Um, I don't have any treatment. Um, don't have any, not treatment, I don't have any tests or any exams, whatever. Um, because why? If something picks up, what am I going to do? Nothing. Um, I just want to go home. I just want to go to my real home. Um, and be at peace for once in my life. To be where the place is full of love. Um, I thought I knew love. I thought I felt love. But that was all lies. But, you know, <sighs> um, it is hard. Hard being alone. Hard having no one. And in that case, it is very hard for me to trust anyone because of what they've done, not what they've done and what they haven't done. They said they're going to do it and they don't do it. And it is so hard. I live here alone and I'm used, even though I am used to being alone, I don't like it. It's okay sometimes. There are things that are benefit to living being alone. But the other side is I know there are others out there as well. Um, I know my counselor, she said there are others there as well who are alone. They've got no one else to call back on if something, you know. Um, when something happens, um, we have got no one to ask for their opinion on something. Um, and that is hard. Whether it be something in the house or medical or whatever, it's like just hard. Um, here's a funny one. Was it Monday? I decided to clean the lounge room. I pulled out the lounge and I actually found a little smurf I lost. I found him under the lounge. I pulled it out and I left another little, little stand I've got in the can. I pulled it out. When I pulled this stand out, there was this thing in the corner. I thought, what the hell was that? Didn't know what it was. I pulled it all out, got me a bloody mouse. He was stuck. In the corner of the house, in the room, right in the corner. I might actually add the photo to the end of the video. And I thought, my God, how am I going to get him out? Shit, how am I going to get him out? And, of course, I went on the Facebook. I had a photo. I said, how do I remove this? One person said, get a shovel. I thought, no, why would I get a shovel if no. Had all one said get a screwdriver and do this, blah blah blah. So I decided all the information they gave me did help. So what I got, I got a, I got a screwdriver and I had a hammer. I don't know what I was going to use the hammer for, but I got the screwdriver and I put the screwdriver in beside him and made the hole a bit bigger, moved around, I got him out and threw him outside. Then I plugged it up with, got steel wool and plugged the hole up as much as I could so that no, none would get in. Um, if it wasn't for Facebook, I wouldn't know how to get it out. Someone said get tongs to pull it out, but that might have ripped him up and I didn't want that, not before lunch. I know it maybe seems a little thing, someone out there might know what to, how to do it, but so I'm not I'm me and I am smart, but there are some things I don't know. 
Um, and I accept that. I know sometimes my memory is crazy. Um, I'll go on to my computer and I'm, I've got all my favourites of my computer on my, on my browser. And I'm looking for my email one. I thought, which one's my email? It, took, it takes me a few seconds to realise which one, which is the, the one shortcut for my bookmark for my email. Um, it's the same when I'm on my phone. I'm looking for something. It's like, where is it? Does, there, and does it just me? Does anybody else do that? Um, I take, do take longer to do things like that but it 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 does worry me a bit but it's me this is who i am i don't put on airs um i try and treat everybody with respect but i've never gotten respect in return it's only one person who's actually treated me with complete respect and Even though he he did the same with everyone, there no one had done that to me. And I know when I die, I will be seeing him again. He's the only one that I want to see. Actually, nice to meet Grandma Ma again and my meet patient Michael and his parents and my my little baby who I lost back in 1996 for seven 20, 27 years 27 years I should have been a mum I could have been a grandma by now but God said, no, nah. he didn't build my body to carry a baby. My uterus was not suitable to be a home for a baby for nine months. And that hurt. Um, yeah, it's been 27 years since I lost a baby, but it still hurts. That I couldn't be a mum. It was the only thing I ever wanted was to be a mum. And I've been, I've been told by people who've got kids, oh, you're lucky you don't have kids. I said, I wanted kids. No, I wanted one. Oh, you're lucky you haven't got any kids. Kids are a pain. Um, God. But that's because they have kids. It's like they do not want their kids. Why? Kids turn out, I don't know. Life is a bitch. Life is not worth it. Knowing my luck, I'll be still here this time next year. Um, I've never been lucky in anything. Um, oh, lucky with homes and lucky how there are people who tell me what a good person I'm in. I'm a nice person, a good person. Yep, I be treated like shit. And for no reason. You know? That hurt. <sighs> but they're the ones who are missing out. Um <sighs> Life is so hard. I look forward to those where I've been told you got cancer. 
I'll pour you out, Hardy. Um, I might not tell anybody. Um, or maybe I will do tell everybody, do a video on it. I don't know, but it's. Just, I look forward to day where I tell you, cancer. I tell you, you got you got a disease. There's something that can't kill it, can't cure it. I look forward to that day. And the pain that I experience going through dying in that would be worth it to get to the end. It would be relief to know that the end would be near. So to everyone out there who have a family, have someone who loves you, make sure they know that you love them. Tell them that you appreciate them. They, they do something for you, even a little bit. Thank them. Appreciate them. Know they are loved. If someone said they loved me, I wouldn't believe it because I've been told that in the past and why should I believe it? This is what happens when people lie to you. This is what people do when they kill your trust in anything. You don't believe what people tell you. And that is a sad world. And I'll probably not the only one else this happens to. Um... Lunch today is Devon and cheese sand, Devon and cheese sandwich with a cup of tea and some Vickies. Um, and I will be doing get this going before I do that. Then, oh, guess what I found? Anne Rice's books. The Vampire Chronicles, the one with Interview with the Vampire, there's 12 of them. I found them. I did find a collection of them, but I thought, no, I don't want them as a collection. I want them as separate so that I can read them separate. I don't have to re read them separate. I'll just create a folder on my Kimball. Um, Kimball. On my Kindle, my Kindle, Kindle, Kimble, whatever, and put them all in there. But I should go get this up and made back up in me summer nighty. <laughs> I did have my hair done. I'm starting to get grey in it. I love my shampoo. My shampoo was doing really good. Maybe also because I'm. Uh. Excuse me. How I wash my hair and shampoo and condition it. It's so soft. Sometimes of a morning this is sticking up. <laughs> Even before when I get when I have my shower, I flick it back so you know like a little boy see I flick it. I've always done that. And I go and lay in the bed and read or whatever, and then I will get up to go to the loo and my this part here is sticking up. It's all sticking up somehow. But it's hair. So everybody, wherever you are, I hope you have a good day. I appreciate Take care of yourselves. Especially if you're alone. Take care of yourself. Look after yourself. I'm the only one who looks after me. That's the way it is. It's the way it's always been. I look after myself because no one else does. It's a sad to say that, but that's the way it is. <sighs> but in saying that, I've said this before, I have no regrets 
in moving away from the Tweed Coast because it's a bit I have been through so much in the last since 2008 been through so much what's that 8 15 years I don't regret moving here If I didn't move here, I wouldn't have met Sarge. And even though he's no longer with us, I know he's still there. Um, wish there was more people around him like him. But I won't get to meet him. Hopefully, maybe on the other side. So everybody... I'm glad, I'm sad, I'm sorry it got to where it was. It didn't, was not meant to get that way, but it did. Um, as I said, I'm honest about things, about things. Um, and my, my mental health, I'm always talking about my mental health. That's why I ask you all, please, to look after yourself. Um, no matter what is wrong with you, you the only one who's going through what you are going through. Let no one try and make you feel that what you're going through is not bad. Whatever it is, it might is not your you you feel it different to what others would feel it. Um, take care of yourself. Look after yourself. If you don't want to do anything, don't do anything. Look after yourself because, of course, the only one we can depend on really is ourselves. So me and Garfield, I was going to call him Archie, me and Garfield will see you in our next video. And I'm going, what time am I? 20 past. Might get the video, start getting together before I have lunch and sit down and watch something. Uh. and everybody said take care okay look after yourself be kind to yourself um do what makes you happy and we will see you in the next video bye oh uh. you sit up there with those joy wants to say goodbye oh she's a big girl she's a big girl So we will see. I don't know who I'm going to have next week, next time. No, oh, excuse me. So everybody, I'm doing it again. <laughs> Take care, okay? Bye.